So here we have the Volkswagen Golf on a 63 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car. We're going to start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and the coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. And then in the center, you can see, firstly, the total mass of the car. They are 92,333. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there. We're on the driving data menu at the moment. Uh, there are other menus available to you as well. You can see me cycling through those now. Back around to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are here and there. Uh, we've got stereo and phone controls over here as well. Stereo controls continue on the left-hand side along with cruise control. Once you set cruise control, hit this button here. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically, depending on the car in front speed. And then over in the center, we have the main touch screen for the car. So we have a few physical buttons uh, down either side of the screen, but essentially it becomes a touch screen after that. So we're on the media menu at the moment, which is where you can listen to your own music. You can see there the options that you've got, and they include Bluetooth audio. So when you pair your phone, you can make and receive phone calls and stream your music wirelessly as well. When it comes to radio, this car's got AM, FM and DAB radio available to us. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Uh, on top of all of that, we've also got a reversing camera which will appear up here as well. Below that, we've got your air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. The air conditioning's on at the minute, so it's off, back on. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set. You can turn the whole system off from here if you wish to. And we have a heated rear screen as well. But if that, we have some storage. That media input is one of the ways in which you can listen to your own music. Uh, there are a number of devices that will plug in this end uh, and they have different adapters on the other end. So USB, for example, iPhone, Android, USB-C, all sorts that you can buy that will fit that. You can close this over. We have the DSG uh, gearbox, so the automatic gearbox. Uh, We've got stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn the system on and off from here. And you can change the driving setup of the car. So you can put it into normal, sport, as you uh, saw just there, eco and individual. And under individual, you can customize the settings shown on the screen now. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.